Good morning, everyone. My name is Buyole Chisidia, the chairperson of Kuzon Vula Motivational Tour and also a South African Youth Ambassador in the AU. Today I'm here in Etembisa High School. It's where I'm coming from uh, to talk to young people here, to talk to students. So I'm here to spread the word. Hashtag 1 million by 2020. As the chairperson of the AU, Dr. Musiwa Faki said, we must go out there and take mic and spread the word of hashtag 1 million by 2021. I'm here today in Tembisa High School where I'll be talking to learners about the importance of education and empowerment. I see a call. was not okay. 
But in our Nelento Yogus Chela Uti, I'm going to make things happen. Either Either Amiko Guma 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 High Schools are but I'm going to make things happen. Right, as from Umkana Satambisa, Nibana Lentole Uti Nibana, Nalentole Ebiza Uti Inamen, Ilo Uti Lo Onga Pagati, Lo Onga Bonagal, Umo Funinto, Wifuna Uti and Zagali, Galeso Scati Leso, or Tim Uti and Zagali Nasu. Right, I'm one of the young person. Uh, from the poor background until where I am today. Ukulawami, I don't know my father. Umama Mushonen in 13 years. I went to school, a high school, Benin Lava, Abakova, Itatuna Zamaton Bazali. When I got in your cloud, I got to know. It's Tatuna Samsi Kukile, Fagi Pakani. But in Ivana Lentole, I'm going to make things happen. Uh, when I finish my grade 12, I'm going to go to the school. But I told myself, let me register the University of Johannesburg. I want to do journalism. But I don't have money. I passed my grade 12 well. Although the need to learn to learn about it, I'm going to pass grade 12. It's a failure. But I make a surprise. I'm going Okay, I went to the University of Johannesburg and did a diploma in journalism. Then, I went to the University of Johannesburg and started to, to do my motivation. Going around the college, KZN, and Pumalanga, Cape Town. Mr. Sakon? Yes! All right, I went to the University of AUJ. Something. In this country, as long as we sell our education, we are going to be able to keep our consent. We are going to be able to keep our consent. We are going to be able to keep our consent. All right. I went and worked for our media companies at different. Until Nizen Nizen resigned, I was recognized by the president of the country, President Jacob Zuma, to come and work as an ambassador, the office in Laki. <laughs> After the airport, I've opened my own organization, Confus of Vila Motivational Tour, where Ben Hamba gets about motivation, Mrs. Zavanta Basha. Uti bangene kole ni bangene emateshiari abanye bachona malena shi nasuga umak umak peri contract term because office ni na check up zuma it was only twelve months contract then I went to a university of Pretoria to do marketing after a marketing today I'm one of the recognized young person influential, young person in Africa. I've worked for the African Union. I'm the advisory board. Yeah, you, the African Union, Addis Ababa. I was in Addis Ababa. I came back for my elections. A Ethiopia. I've been working to School of, of Public Service in New York. I've been in UK. I've, I've been all over the world. So it's a blue chalion. It's a blue chalion. Uguti. Uma pegi. Uguti. Ekaigini. Ulale ule. Uma pegi. It's a situation again. When I pegan a lani name, what is that? Machita. Ufemi zono. Ugele kasi ni loko mebu sizananit. Wanka mbazane. Abafana bapeli. Then 
mazinga abi iksasa lako mazinga mazinga shugani shugu tuena uzobai iksasa patuena apume kwa na mapaga ati ogu chini na mfuna ogu bai mina mfuna ogu bai poisa mina mfuna ogu bai chacha mina mfuna ogu bai president of this country as now mina mfuna ogu bai president one the country also be apume ogu bai etembisa. opportunities akhona recently the senate okay one two one two <laughs> okay uthe pasini we african union u dr musi wafaki uthe by 2020 kumele siriche abantu abasha abawu 1 million but the question versus who's good to us is over the challenge and abantu abasha abawu 1 million ukuze bazi ke African Union bazi umsebenzi we African Union uma sizo bazi ukuthi siritsha abantu abasha abawu 1 million sengqalile on ready thembisa high school you are the one of young people abazobe bephuma on this school abazosirepresent we African Union new parliament but lokho kuzophuma kuphi ukuthi uzimisele endwazi ukuthi ufunane empilweni So you must follow our website www.au.org.za then kune kune facebook page yethu ebhale u au youth envoy la kuphuma khona wonke ama programs kusho ukuthi kuna ama programs akhona kwama leadership ama bursaries laba bazobe beqathi grade 12 this year next year so bena mabazaris aphumayo for anything of no we fundela last thing engela ukuntshela yona last thing engela ukuntshela yona impilo langa phandle inzima uma ungafundana if you don't have e education uzosebenzela umngani wakho oba ufunda naye impilo langa phandle uma ungafundana inzima I'm the youngest person who advise a report ye AU from HMBs but because of ngis misalile kwimfundo yami ngameka show ukuthi ngiye achieve izinto kumele ukuthi ngis achieve ilang khona khona today because of e education last this is the organization that we have you must follow us on our facebook page to get information sisa bensana ne SNTF SIDF ile ya masocha sebenzana ne Department of Public Works sebenzana ne Social Development se assiste abantu abasha ifu funi leadership sinama sinama companies esinawo if ufuna ya leadership you must follow us sibhala yonke information call alishayela izandla ukuthi ngisiphathela thank you hello are you still happy that uh, this young man this young man uh, is going all over the world as he said so take it for serious isn't it so if you want to to go somewhere you must you need to learn and i want just to tell you before i can pray i want to pray for you but listen is a skill we are here just to give you to motivate you in order your future you must be somebody isn't it Okay, uh, I'm very thankful to meet you as well. Okay, my name is Mtoberi Jeleni. I've been in uh, Voice of Tembisa FM. I'm meeting I'm meeting the Voice of Voice of Tembisa FM. I've been in uh, television. You can just see me. So I'm uh, also a consultant. Okay. Okay, this is before we we leave, we want just to pray for you. Especially grade 12 students. We are going to write exams at the end of the year and want to to see people uh, going far in their life okay let's close our eyes before we can leave i want just to pray for you okay you can just close your eyes wherever you who, who you are father in the name of jesus christ of Jesus, i pray right now father we are here at tbs high school father we pray for those students father let them to be wise let them to open their minds in the name of jesus christ of Jesus, i pray I pray for prosperity I pray for their exams I pray also for their parents also for their teachers 
Father, we thank you for this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth, to come and say, Amen. Amen. Alright, let's try this one again. One, two, three. I'm sure there's one person who needs to hear what I'm going to say. You know, every time we stand here and we bring people like these, there's more often than not, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of noise that you are making, but I want to assure you this morning, even as I heard about three weeks ago, every time we are here, there's the presence of God that is alternating and changing young people's destinies right here. Because there are people who are going to influence this nation even beyond South Africa, whom God is raising right here. And you are here you cannot blame the Lord. God is at work in this place. We want to thank these guys for coming here, but I'm going to give over to Mr. Vobi to do the rest up. Morning, how are you? Uh, may we give a big hand of applause for these great people who came here. I'm told good news about it that now it's a Tembisen and again from just end of me. A person who is talking about UK, African Union, all over. A resource. A person who is uh, very fruitful. And he's cool. I guess in schools in Tembisa. He ate quota and all those things. He knows how are the challenges of young people, ordinary as we are. But today it's at a different level. What does that say to us? It says that you, while you are here at Tembisa Secondary School, ordinary as you are, if you keep on listening and study harder, Tomorrow it will be you coming with a different story to tell. Yes. Do you hear me, my children? Yes. So when people like these ones, they come before us and they talk great, more especially coming from just ordinary ages of our townships like us, that should motivate us a lot. And we say when we go to our classes, we will do better than before. Thank you very much for coming. We feel proud for you. May God bless you as you are doing your missions. And you, from him, because he comes from our backyards, we say, Amanda. Yes. And then, as you are going to your classes, go to your class and be well and don't go outside. Thank you very much. My name is Mtoveni Jelen. I'm standing with a teacher from um, Tembisa High School. How are you, my teacher? I'm fine, thanks. And how are you, sir? I'm fine. So, yes. what is your name? I'm Sbongile Sitwana. I'm an English teacher here at English Tembisa teacher. High School. Okay, which yes. grade? I'm teaching grade 11 and grade 9. Oh, grade 11 yes. and grade 9. Grade, yes. So, as we came here at school to motivate the children, so uh, what is the impact for our motivation at school? I think it's a good um, thing for encouraging our learners, uh, reminding them almost every time about their future and then telling them what is good for them and then so that they will be able to know what will happen if they misuse the opportunity they have. I'm so impressed when I see people almost coming to our school to give them um, more information and encourage them. Uh, some of them they grab something and some of them, even if they don't listen, but they, at the end of the day, they end up seeing that, okay, what is right, what is wrong. So can you tell me about a little bit about the, 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 the metrics for this year? So what do you expect about the results maybe uh, as your school, Chambisa High School? They are going to 
overage, maybe the person overage? I think they'll be fine um, according to their attendance. I think they do, they're doing good. Uh, they will achieve uh, the minimum uh, result um, according to the principal. Uh, yesterday on, in a meeting, she spoke, he spoke about uh, the way in which now they are showing their seriousness. I think they will achieve. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Ne? Thank you very okay. much. You're welcome. Okay, uh, how are you? Come, come, come present. President. Okay. Uh, okay, my name is Mchobeni Dileni. I'm from coming from the company called uh, Those of Vila Motivational Store. So as we came to your school to motivate the children, so I want to know that uh, uh, how did you to get, uh, let's say, uh, motivated for today. And before you can ask me, I want to know your name first. Okay, um, my name is Kensana Mwakaisi. And then the impact that um, this motivational talk had in me, I'd like to start off by saying, I like the words that one woman once said that, it is not a mistake to be born poor, but it is a mistake yes. to die poor. Yeah. So the motivational talk in a way, it put emphasis on, the, on that statement. So in that way, I would like to say we appreciate it a lot because even though it's not all that would take this message home, but I believe that I'm one of the people that will take the message home, oh, that is right? Great. Because I'm a kind of person who likes to um, just try by almost to grab the little that I get from people that have made it in life. And I am pretty sure that I'm going to try by all means to put each and everything into practice. And one thing that I usually say to learners is that it is a quote that I got from somewhere, right? Yeah. That um, each and every one is the CEO of their lives, where some people need to be hired and some need to be fired. Some people are actually being drawn backwards by the relationships that they have with others. But if they can then take control of their life, therefore anything is possible. That's what I like to say. Oh, that is nice. So you look like young man. Uh, what challenges have you facing at school as you are a president? Um, we know that in school there are some that are, I can say, over age or something okay, like that. Yeah. Yes, so some people, they just look at my physical appearance and they think that you cannot tell me anything and you're not capable, capable of doing other things. But then all I say is that it's all in optimacy. If you take each and, each and every difficulty, if you take um, each and every difficulty as an opportunity to learn something, therefore you can make it in life. Because, yes... I do come across with a lot of challenges with some learners whereby if I tell them to do something, they do not take me seriously. Whereby I believe that if it was someone who was actually with like maybe a big body or something like that, they would have listened. But because it's me, tiny and all that and I look innocent, they just think that, you know what, you're too small. But never just a book by its cover because I have a lot. Okay, okay. Thank you for your, for your time. Ne? Yeah. yeah, you enjoy your day. Okay, we are here at Tembisa High School. That is the school that is uh, well known, especially uh, in, in South Africa. So I am with uh, uh, Mrs. You're going to tell your name. Who, what is your name? And uh, yeah, okay, can you tell? My name is Makwena Muloto. I'm in grade 11. Yeah. Okay. And I'm from around Tembisa. Okay, okay. What is your role uh, at school? Oh, uh, I'm a debater and. The reason why I joined debate it is because I get to speak in spaces whereby the youth gets to voice out its opinions. And for instance, the GDL has the children's parliament. We were also part of that. And we saw that if there is nothing about us without us, the government cannot discuss things about us if we are not there. And if there are initiatives uh, in government that are about the youth we should be involved and that the government always goes on about how they involve the youth because it's just nice how they say it but it's never re it, but what happens in government does not reflect what they say that they want to include the youth okay as you're talking about the government you see you are so deep now but uh, i understand what you're trying to say so as we are coming to motivate the children uh, it's not the first time the guys coming to school what the, the the impact we are doing 
to change the life of the, the students. Okay. Dreaming beyond Tembisa and South Africa itself, it's, it's so big that it seems far-fetched that I am from Tembisa and even how I don't even begin to imagine for a typical child in Tembisa does not begin to even imagine him or herself out of the boundaries of of South Africa or even Africa per se. So you coming here bringing relevant people about how dreams are achievable I think does a really huge impact and it gives uh, uh, children particularly black disadvantaged kids that hope to, 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 to have the zest to go into the future. Okay, the last question I want to just to ask you about your personalities. Is what you want to be in future? Because you said that you are a debater. So what do you want to be in future? Maybe after we finish the, the school? I'm not really sure, but I know that my heart lies within economics and politics and whatever that I do should be in line with that. As you said that you like politics, did you go sometimes to meet people who are politicians or just you want to be a, pol a, a politic? I'm not politi a politician per se, but I'm interested by how power it's, it's, it's being exercised and about how a decision made in the cabinet mm -hmm. will have an impact on me. So, yeah, I'd like to check the checks and balances of how power is exercised from provincial government to local government, and that interests me, and how people in power can change my life for the better or make it even more worse. Oh, thank you very much for your Okay, ma'am, uh, as we, we are here, you see us, we are here, we are motivating uh, the students. So, what the impact uh, as the people coming outside as the guest speakers, they are making a difference in your school? Um, I think motivation goes a long way. Over and above teaching our kids in class, we, we teach kids that come from very difficult backgrounds and some of them just don't have anybody to look up to. Mm. So when you come here and you motivate them, we've actually seen individuals that would come back and give us feedback to say because of that motivation, you know, my life was turned around. That is why we believe that uh, over and above teaching content matter, we also need to motivate these kids that not only should they pass mm. subjects, but they should also pass in life, and that needs motivation. That is powerful. Ma'am, tell me uh, about the challenges you, you, you're facing at the school as, as, as you are a teacher here. Yeah? Um, I think one of the biggest challenges that we have at the moment is resources. We, we are still a fee-paying school, therefore we're not receiving the grants like the other schools are receiving. But the grant that we have, it's not like we're not receiving anything, but we have, if I may give you an example, our feeding scheme that we have to fund out of our own coffers. And we would love to see our school feeding every child. But unfortunately, at the moment, we are still feeding about 100 out of 2,500 kids. And the other challenge is that when these kids come from primary school, they come from a school where they were all fed and they are expecting the same thing here, which is not the same. So we're saying, hopefully, in the near future, we'll be able to feed all the school. Because you are talking, you are talking about something which is, the, uh, let's say, deep with about the resourcing. Uh, what about maybe the classes? There's no challenge in the classes and some sort of that. Well, we will have, like any other school, learner behavioral issues. But I must say, comparatively speaking, we are still uh, at a better place. We, we do have kids that are troublesome, but you see, we, we have developed a culture of looking beyond, if I may put it that way, the troublesomeness of a child, but look at the child. And we have a team that works with them, and it's producing beautiful results. Okay, okay. Concerning to the classes, uh, I, I think that the Mesa School is, a, is a, an old school, if I'm not mistaken. So, concerning to the classes, so what do you say about it? Maybe, if maybe the company they're outside, they want to just invest to the school. But I think that is another opportunity, why we are here. Oh, yes. Um, especially the very same square. This was the first building block. Mm -hmm. You'll realize we've tried with the roofing. But look, 
the, the walls are very old. We're trying to keep them as clean as we can. Mm. You can look at the place, it's very clean. But if we have people that might help us, I think the other thing that the government has done so far is to introduce the issue of smart boards. If we can have smart boards in these classes, I'm sure our results will also skyrocket. Okay, good luck there. Enjoy your thank day. You, thank you, thank you, and I hope that you are bringing those people to help us. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye. <laughs>